girls, and welcome to day 37 of working in our distance learning packet. Today, we will be working together on lesson A and B, the mystery sight word of the day, and sentence dictation. So let's get ready. You will need your distance learning packet phase three and a pencil to get started. If you don't have the packet, that's okay. You can use plain paper and just write on the paper. So today, you will be working with me on lesson A and B, our secret word of the day, and our sentence dictation. So make sure you open up your booklet to page 37. Today, we will identify beginning sounds to reveal a mystery sight word of the day. We will write a sentence using the mystery sight word. So let's take a look at our chart for today. At the top of the page, as usual, I want you to get out your pencil and write your first name and your last name on the lines. I will do the same. Remember, we are working hard on writing our letters neatly, making sure that our letters are sitting on the line. We don't have any floating letters. Great job, boys and girls. Make sure you have your first name and your last name. All right, I'll give you a second to finish and then we will get started. All right, boys and girls. So again, every day at the top, we have our alphabet chart to help us. And next to each letter of the alphabet, there is a picture that begins with that letter. So we are going to use those pictures to help us write the beginning sounds of different words and to help us figure out the mystery sight word of the day. So go over here and let's look at the first picture of a bow, b, b, bow. I'm gonna check, here's the picture of the bow and it begins with the letter B. So in this first box, we need to write the letter B. B, O, hmm. I hear the O sound. Sometimes the O can say ah, and O can say O. Oh. In this word, it's saying the O sound. B, O. Hmm, we have a tiger here. What letter does tiger begin with? If you don't know, check that chart. That's right. Tiger begins with the letter T. B, O, T. Hmm, I wonder what the next letter is. So this is a picture of a hippo. Hippo begins with what letter? That's right, the letter H. So I am going to write the letter H here. We have our mystery sight word of the day. Do you know what it is? Let's check. Now we know when the T and the H get together, they're going to say the th sound. So b, o, th, both. Our word today is both. Both of you are doing a great job, both. Now, the next thing we always do is first, let's spell the word B-O-T-H, both. Now, you're going to choose your favorite color crayon or colored pencil or whatever you have at home, and you're going to write the word both in your favorite color. Remember, as you write the letters, it helps to say their names. B O T. H, both. Now it says find the sight word and highlight it. You can use a highlighter, you can use a yellow crayon to find the word, or you could just simply circle the word. I'm gonna show you how you could circle the word today. So let's read the sentence and then we'll circle our sight word of the day, both. I like both cats and dogs. So I saw the word both and I am going to circle it. That is the word both. Over here, it says write the word in all capital letters. Here I have all lowercase letters. So I'm going to change it to all capitals and I'm going to say the name of the letter as I write it. B O, capital O, T, capital T, and H. And what word did we spell? Both. Great job. All right, let's get ready for our sentence dictation. 
So today, when we do our sentence dictation, remember, I want you to say the sentence across your fingers so that you can count how many words are in the sentence. And when you're writing your sentence, I want you to be thinking about what great writers do. And I know that we've learned that great writers will start their sentence with a capital letter. Great writers leave finger spaces and great writers end their sentence with the correct punctuation. So let's see, our sight word sentence of the day is both of them are home. Both of them are home. How many words is that, boys and girls? Yeah, five words. Say it again in your head so you can remember it. Both of them are home. Go ahead, try to write that sentence now on the lines. Both of them are home. All right, when you're starting your sentence, I know you remembered to start with that capital letter. So since we were writing the word both, our capital letter is the letter B. B O. That was the O sound, both. And then you needed the TH. Both of. Of is a tricky word. It sounds like it would be the letter U here, but it's actually the letter O. Of looks like this, O, F. Both of them. Oh, I hear that th sound again. What letters am I going to write for the th? sound. That's right, the T and the H. The E. Ooh, that's the letter E. The E. Mm. Them. Both of them are. That's our sight word are, and it's a tricky word. It's A R E. Both of them are home. Huh? Oh, there's that O oh saying its own name again. Huh? Oh. And because the O is saying its own name, I know that there has to be that magic E there. Both of them are home. And good writers, what do I need at the end of my sentence? A period. Great job, boys and girls. Can you check your sentence? Did you write both of them are home? Give yourselves a pat on the back. You did a great job today. I look forward to writing some more words with you again tomorrow. Have a good one.